Today, I'm going to show you how to film Apple Porous RAW and OpenGate on the new iPhone 17 Pro or iPhone 17 Pro Max. First, we need to know that the Apple Porous RAW and OpenGate are not available in the native camera app. At this point, we need to use either the Final Cut camera or the Blackmagic camera. The second thing we need to know is that currently, Apple doesn't allow us to film Apple Porous RAW directly onto the phone. We'll need to use an external storage. That means it doesn't really matter what storage you get for your iPhone. For the external SSD, you can use whatever you have right now. I'm currently using this little portable SSD from Zyk. It's actually a lot smaller than my Samsung T9, and I can just easily plug it in and then just hold it like this. It doesn't really add anything to the phone, and it's still very easy to hold. The read and write speeds are near 1000 megabytes per second. It's pretty enough for capturing ProRes RAW. And over here, there's also a USB-C port, which is really nice because I can charge my phone while filming. If you are interested in this little drive, check out the link in the description. There's also a promo code over there. Okay, let's film some ProRes RAW. I'm gonna do it in Final Cut Camera first. Let's make sure we are saving the files onto our external drive. We just check over here, Z drive, that's my external SSD, so I'm all right. And then let's look at the settings on the left side. Over the codec, let's select Apple ProRes RAW or ProRes RAW HQ. There are some bit rates difference between those two. And if you are curious about the file sizes, here are some numbers Apple gives us. As you can see, the file size, it's not crazily large. And actually, Perez RAW itself is a very efficient codec. For frame rate, we can choose from 24 FPS to 60 FPS. There's no 120 under Perez RAW. And then we can choose the resolution we like for the Perez RAW. We have two options, the 17 by 9, which is like this, a wide screen, or the open gate. It's a full sensor image without any cropping, and it's more like a 4 by 3 ratio. And there's one thing we need to be aware of is that under ProRes RAW, we cannot turn on stabilization, no matter it's open gate or not. But after testing, I actually feel like it's not really a big deal because we can apply stabilization in post. For example, I did some test shoot, I shot everything handheld, and then did stabilization in DaVinci Resolve. It actually turned out pretty good. With stabilization, the footage is very smooth. The next thing we need to know is that since we are using Apple ProRes RAW, and the RAW sensor data isn't really associated with the color space, we are not going to pick color space like when we are in HEVC or the regular ProRes. Like over here, we can select SDR, HDR, Apple Log, or Apple Log 2. But if we bring our ProRes RAW file back to the computer and decode our file back to the log curve, we can actually choose Apple Log 2. And I think that's also what Apple wants us to do because over the LUT preview, it's using the Log2 color profile over here. As you can see, we can use the ultra wide, the main white lens, and the telephoto. So we cannot use the 2x or 8x sensor crop from the Fusion camera. But we can actually use the selfie cam under ProRes RAW. We just click here. We can even do it vertically and switch the image. You might already know the sensor of the selfie cam is actually square now. So it doesn't matter which way you hold your phone, you can always get a very wide angle. So over the resolution, you can do 17 by 9 or 4 by 3. I played around a little bit and I noticed it's still not as wide as in the native camera app. For example, over here, I can see my door, my closet over there. But in Final Cut Camera, it's not as wide as what we saw before. And there's no stabilization either. Now let's try to film ProRes RAW using Blackmagic Camera. We launch the app. And also we need to make sure we are saving the files onto the external drive. We go to Settings, Media. Over here, Save Clips to. We choose Files. I've already set to my drive. If not, you can just go back to the root and then under on your iPhone, you can select your external drive. 
And then let's set our codec. We go to record over codec. Yeah, same thing. We can choose Perez-Raw HQ or Perez-Raw. Let me do HQ over here. For resolution, 4K is the 17 by 9 we just saw over Final Cut camera. And then we also have the open gate. Over the color space in Blackmagic camera, it actually lets us set a tag in the metadata of the raw footage. You can set it to Apple Log or Apple Log 2. It's not going to do anything with your raw image. It's just going to leave some information in the metadata, so it might help you in post-production. Okay, that's it. And then we can go to camera and start filming. For other things, they are pretty much the same. For example, we can only choose between the ultra-wide, wide, and telephoto. No 2x or 8x. And there's no stabilization either. What is different in Blackmagic Camera is that we cannot use the selfie cam under Pores Raw. It's not like the Final Cut camera. All right, that's pretty much it. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. If you want to see more about filming and editing Pores Raw or some test footage, be sure to subscribe. Now check out the short video I shot on my iPhone 17 Pro using Pores Raw. Have a nice day.